Good morning, students. That uh, one question number one one eight I skipped previously, and it's an important one for the JE, and uh, really ask for the need, not need exactly, the exact one, but the JE importance. Okay, it may be advanced, maybe just JE may or advanced they may ask. Here, this basic point first we have discuss. If, if the shell, if you have taken, or even if you take the solid sphere also. Electric field inside is zero if the charge is resting on the surface. Charge is slowly on the surface. Inside charge is zero, electrical neutral, it is electrically zero. But potential is always same inside every point up to surface. Potential is same. Outside again, electric field increases. Surface outside E B relation is E equal to B by R at any given point. E equal to B by R. R is capital R if it is on the surface. R is any point distance from the center to given point. Once you go outside, total charge is equal to center. Electric field magnitude will be considered generally in order power to plus or minus Qs. But potential field like means plus means plus minus means minus. So electric field potential becomes plus if the charge density is plus. Negative charge means minus sigma if you take that. Next is E relationship if you take that. For thin hollow metal sphere or to be called as a shell. Why we call this a shell we are preferring is because it has two surfaces but thin shell if you have mentioned means inside radius is outer radius nearly equal. So we need not consider separate or inner radius separate outer radius separate. That's why it will simplify that. But the formula is basically applied to basic relational surface electric field for the solid sphere also. Okay, next up. Charge on the outer sphere. But here in this problem, problem case is shell of the radius. But basic formula is I am going to discuss. First, Q is the charge on the outer surface, R is the radius. Then surface area becomes equal to 4 pi into capital R square. And on the surface, surface charge density we call. Surface charge density is on the surface only. When you are going outside, sigma will be there. Sigma is used only on the surface. Sigma equal to Q by A is Q by 4 pi into R square is on the surface. But inside electric field is 0. Surface electric field is sigma by epsilon naught. Applicable for the hollow sphere, solid sphere also. So E equal to V by R relation also applicable. So E surface equal to sigma by epsilon naught equal to V surface by R. And what is V surface becomes is in this problem of 1 1 8 where what is the potential is not electric field. So V surface becomes equal to sigma by epsilon naught into R, sigma by epsilon naught into R. Please you have to remember this relationship. Directly formula can be single problem can be asked like this. For any complex, even case of the may ask this, this part. Next, inside, inside the potential is same up to surface. So what I am getting the surface is no, same way I can be there inside everywhere, this head comes. So this V inside V surface is equal to sigma R by epsilon naught is inside everywhere. This is on the surface, I equal to inside, also same potentials. Next is if we take the electric field on the surface, we want the expression for the electric field and the potentials, outside we want to take. So to get outside, we go from the surface. So E surface is nothing but equal to Q by 4 by to R square. Okay, if it is a E outside if you take means Q by 1 to small r square, r is smaller than the distance from center electric, not from the surface. 4 pi square to small r square is the formula. From this you have to take this 4 pi r square. So if you take this 4 pi r square expression from this relation, 4 pi r square if you equate no, this is going to be graph of E surface into r square. So this becomes equal to E square surface into r square by small r square is the formula you get for E outside. But E outside is also equal to V by R, E equal to V by R. So V E outside is also equal to V outside by R. Outside your document is this is smaller in the So we want to now get the expression these two and this expression. So why we are going to compare only outside potentials? This one only we need to take. So V out is equal to E surface into R square by R square. What are smaller cancels? So V out equal to E surface to R square by smaller only remains. But what is E surface is we want in terms of the sigma. Sigma surface charge density. E surface is equal to sigma by epsilon. So what we get is V out equal to sigma by epsilon into R square by smaller. Smaller is the distance from center, capital is the radius. Outside the problem. So V out becomes equal to E surface. This is the relation to it. V out equal to sigma into R square by epsilon into R. This will not be asked for the case at exam, but can be asked for the need and also for the JEM. Other right advanced with us. We also only form and form. Without values, they will ask only formula. Next is coming back to our actual problems. This formula, this formula V outside. Okay, outside equal to means that sphere radius square into sigma by epsilon into distance what distance comes to the denominator, the point you V outside. And the sigma into the positive charge now plus sigma. Negative means minus sigma. That formula and V surface V in. This, this formula. These two formula we required for this question number 118. Come back to this uh, 118 actual problem.
in this problem there are three concentric hollow metal spheres a b c one hollow this is a b c concentric in same center point okay this a capital a has a radius of small b has a radius of b small c has a radius of small c okay and uh, surface charge density is on a and sigma on b minus sigma and c plus sigma you are asked to answer in terms of the sigma terms only potentials we need to take in terms of sigma so what is required is that uh, you are asked to find out potentials on the surface a b c on a there is the effect of the three charges there yes. potential is there here because of a also because of b also because of c also we need to consider so on a means on the surface but b if you take no the point is inside inside surface is same so on c this a is inside only so when you are finding for a a is inside b and c also but inside potential is same as the surface so what are the surface of a that is supposed to be potential of a plus surface potential of b plus potential of c all together comes so if you take a on a it is inside b and c it is inside b and c so potential of a is a resultant potential of b and c will take potential of a potential because of a is on the surface space is sigma by epsilon into a once again i will come coming back to this formulas we are going to use here are these formulas v inside v surface is sigma by epsilon into its radius v outside is sigma by epsilon into its radius square by distance we need to consider so we are going to use here this point is on the surface this is inside the radius surface inside is same so what you get first to inside is sigma by epsilon not into its radius sigma by epsilon into its radius the but second charge is, second square is negative charge so minus sigma minus sigma into its radius by epsilon okay third one is also false charge but plus sigma into the radius c by epsilon so you get the relation as sigma by epsilon into its radius minus sigma by epsilon into its radius plus sigma by epsilon into its radius a b c because the points are surface or inside conditions okay sigma by epsilon take out common we get as a minus b plus a minus b plus this is a potential of a next we want to find the potential of b and talk about the potential of b now it is inside a but outside a yes, sir, in, outside a but inside a c okay outside a when you take o outside a, you have to use this formula outside is sigma by epsilon into its radius square by distance so we are taking this a total potential b is nothing but equal to on b is equal to potential because of a and potential because of b and potential because of c also so potential because of a potential because of a here the point is outside but outside is smaller given so much is this radius this radius is b only so for this case this part is r equal to b becomes this part becomes r equal to c okay its distances so potential b if you have taken but uh, here v a prime sigma into a square radius square by epsilon into the distance the distance is outside this distance is b next is this b b b b on the surface inside no square one no. so sigma just uh, like we were taken before minus sigma to by epsilon not. minus sigma to by epsilon on the surface this is also inside surface c plus sigma c by epsilon not because plus sigma is there so take the common terms sigma by epsilon not out then a square by b minus b plus c so in that question actually only these two are asked options given only for the two surfaces a and b this one and this one so first option is the correct option but we have to check up on the c also because in the question they may ask one surface only two surfaces only three don't ask either these two surfaces or these two surfaces they are first and third also may be asked next on c if you have taken c is outside a and outside b also okay so c surface formula and outside for a formula outside for b formula outside means that radius square by r so v a prime for v b prime for v c prime is a potential for the potential of c of v a prime it is outside it's just like before sigma by epsilon into a square by the distance the distance up to the surface c is a small c is a symbol radius and minus sigma by epsilon into c into its radius square because b is also inside same as before but its radius becomes equal to radius of the b same as before but name minus sigma plus uh, it is on the surface surface inside same as sigma by epsilon into its radius the surface formula is this one. Take the sigma by epsilon not common a square by c minus b square by c plus c is the formula you have to get that for the surface c. These three formulas are the final results. So option A is A. You check out that.
this topic here is uh, finished almost only previous year problems at work out or else I will give you solved ones answers uh, but I will work out uh, some of them at least uh, after completion of the second topic so we are going to start now second topic what the second topic is electric potential as a textbook is electric potential and capacitance but potential problems already we have discussed in some points in the problem no? so we are going to take the capacitance in the next topic most concept of capacitance is the big part actually so next part we will discuss is second topic Electric potential and capacitance. And capacitance. How do you know capacitance? It includes the problems with the first topic. So electric field also will be included and force also included in this. Next year, formulas I am going to discuss along with the numericals while well doing. Formulas for the capacitance. Formulas for the capacitance. We have it C equal to parallel capacitance. Basic formulas are C equal to 2 by V. Okay. And parallel capacitance C equal to K into F0 A by D for the parallel capacitance. And Energy formula is equal to half QB equal to half CV square is equal to V square by 2C. Incomplete field directly we have taken between the capacitor incomplete liquid and complete liquid. Complete field means C equal to K into C air is C medium. This is complete field. In partial if you take it on C equal to epsilon A by D minus T plus T by K. This is partial if you Partial if you means there is an air gap in between. This is K thickness. D is the separation of things. Other formulas I am going to discuss while discussing the problems. And over one more Capacitance series and parallel formations. Series. We are taking now 1 by C series equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 and so on with it. Decreases capacitance. C series if you take N identical now, then C series becomes equal to C by N. And the only two if you have taken C series becomes equal to C1, C2 by C1 plus C2. And parallel if you have taken C parallel is equal to C1 plus C2 plus and so on. So N and C if you identical if you have taken. Yeah, that is a simple one, balance. See, series of the unit. Okay. Next step, numericals. First one, I will bring up the previous topic. Two spheres, R1 radius, R1 and R2. Charges Q1 and Q2 respectively are joined by the wire. What is the energy of the system? What happens to the energy of the system? Concentrated. Any time, any time if the charges are traveled, there is some loss of energy. So, when you have the two PLC if you have taken and connected with the wire, the charges will pass from high potential to low potential, there is a decrease in the energy, always energy decreases. Electron jump from cloud to other cloud or cloud to after energy decreases, converted to other forms, heat, light and sound. Here heat is why it gets heat energy, heat energy, other forms of energy. Next, uh, no, no current flows, so the two charged bodies connected together with this have the same, what is the condition required? that the charge flowing is zero between these two conductors even though connected what is the condition is that potentials are same charge always travel only based on the potential difference if the V1 and V2 is equal then charge flowing is zero charge not flowing if 
next to third order. It is given some problems. In the circuit, 20 coulomb of charge is passed through the battery in the given time. The plates of the battery are maintained for a difference of 20 volts. What is the voltage of the battery? In the case of battery, charge passed is 20 coulombs. Charge flow in time T. And potential difference is also 20 volts. What is the energy worked up by the battery? Done by battery. E is equals to what equal to V equal to it is actually delta V potential difference. Then what by charge is a potential difference. So what V is equal to charge into potential difference. Potential difference is 20, that means 20 coulombs into 20. 20 into 20 which is 400 joules. Here, charge in, here coulomb is given. Sometimes we give micro coulombs, many people can put the conversion of units. That many of the different units are given means in the question itself outline. So that when solving you know the mistake. Next. Fourth question. Sixty-four speckled rocks, each of radius uh, two centimeters. Sixty-four speckled rocks, each of radius, each of radius uh, two centimeters, and charge uh, five volts. Five volts. Combine to form bigger rock. to form a bigger drop, combined to form bigger drop, find its capacity. Find capacity of bigger drop. Merging of the droplets, or breaking of the drop into droplets, it has got the coalescence of the droplets. In separation also comes up. Here also comes in the previous topic also comes up. Electric charges, electric flow and potentials. So taking the n type, n number, all identity type, n number of spherical droplets of mercury, for example. These are any charges. Each charge is Q0. Q or small Q radius. Radius of radius is smaller. Okay, how many number are there is n number. Then combine to get a bigger speed of radius R. So what is constant in this case? Charge is always a constant, total charge. So total charge is how much uh, n into Q is a total charge, one thing. What I mean is constant is volume remains constant. So we get is Q equal to capital Q is equals to n into small q. And radius and radius ratio volume is not there. Volume is 4 by 3 by Q into n. Total volume is supposed to be this one. But surface area, this is less. Individual surface area, this is small droplets of separate separate total surface area is more than enough bigger part because here inner surface is also exposed but here only this part if you combine this only outer scale you are seeing various surface area you are seeing there so this surface area is less than this total surface area always small droplets are the more surface area so it may be given combined like this or maybe breaking also may be given this cut as a coalescence of the droplets yes yes coalescence of droplets merging or coalescence or combining another relation is volume is constant what is volume of 4 by 3 pi so you get is n into 4 by 3 pi r cube is supposed to be equal to 4 by 3 pi cap r cube. Volume is constant. So you get the relation as r and r relationship. What is that is? r cube is equal to n into r cube. These two you need to remember. Or r is equal to n to the power of 1 by 3 to so on. This starts constant quantization, uh, conservation and radiation. These two we have prepared for all the problems required. So what you take is 64, n equal to how many droplets is n equal to 64 drops, n equal to 64 drops, okay and uh, 64 you we need to convert it to, because cube is coming now, I do the 1 by 3, you are writing to the power of cube, 
six four cube we can write four into four into four four into four into four you will be three four five up to five only generally they give the numbers this is nothing but six hence equal to four cube drops droplets radius is small droplets radius is small are equal to four centimeters each drop each drop of radius Okay, charge small cube is five coulombs. This is for each droplets. But here come into bigger droplets. So big drop is a small droplets. Big one, but getting ARS charge capital Q is equals to n into Q, and radius R is equals to n to the power of one by three into R. We want the capacitance of bigger. Sphere is c equal to four pi epsilon naught into r. That's all. Remaining all not infinite, even though we didn't take it. Only capital is required. Charge is not required. Capacitance they ask, they have to ask energy, etc. Even the charge is given, not required in this problem. So we require the only four pi epsilon naught into capital. What is capital equal to? L to the power one by three into small. That's it. This is equal to four pi epsilon naught into L to the power of one by three into smaller. If R is smaller, what is the value given? No, this radius is meters converted into meters, please. So four into the power of minus two meters because we are taking all in S L itself. Parallel is greater than six point three meters. So what is the capacitance? This is four pi epsilon naught into L to the power one by three. What is four pi epsilon naught value? One by four pi epsilon naught is nine into the power of nine. But reverse this. Reverse means one by nine. This becomes is one by nine into ten to the power of nine into this is four cube to the power of one by three into radius radius is four four into ten to the power of minus two radius two two centimeters sorry radius is two centimeters into ten to the power of minus two meters so this is two ten to the power of minus two. Is equal to this power cancels. So left out is four ohm, four to the eight, eight by nine, eight by nine into ten to the power of minus nine, nine ten to the power of minus nine, minus two, minus zero. Capacitance is five. That's the answer. Eight by nine ten to the power of minus zero. Okay, but basic things you need to remember is for this kind of droplets problems, one is this formula, another one is this formula required. Same formulas required for the surface tension also. First of all. Okay, if you require K, you can write this 
k into epsilon of a by d. It is value is given for us. What is the value given for us? Is 10 microfarads. Ten microfarads. So what is this equals to ten microfarads. This is k r k r approximately equal to one. The relative constant of k is approximately one. So we can take this as c k r equal to it's not k by d equal to ten microfarads. So we use this second case. Next is with a thin foil, thin metal foil. Capacitor with the metal foil. Foil itself indicates a thin plate, thin sheet. Thickness is how much? Thickness T approximately zero. What about the cost of the metal? Infinity. For metals, metal K is equal to infinity. And incomplete if you directly go, what is the formula for the capacitance? D is the separation. D is the separation. Here. Yeah. So incompletely filled. Filled. Capacitor. So what is the formula for the capacitance is C with medium and medium. C equal to epsilon naught A by D minus T plus T by T. Incomplete repeated directly. Okay, if multiple medium and incomplete repeated many mediums are there. Minus T minus T one T one plus T two plus T three. T one by K one plus T two by K two and so on. We take many number, whatever the number is there. But in this case, only one sheet we inserted. Thickness is negligible, almost zero. K is how much is metal infinity. So this K is infinity. Anything by infinity is zero. So this is zero. This is also zero. So what we get out k is equal to this becomes equal to approximately equal to epsilon a by d only comes. Epsilon a by d only comes in this ten microfarads. So result was change. This is equal to ten microfarads. This is the answer. So c with medium is also equal to ten microfarads only for this. Next seventh question. This seventh question is very very important problem. Will be asked for case at also. Okay. In this, uh, it is also incomplete with the direct record. But what they mention is 